Joining me now is Chuck Todd, moderator of Meet the Press. Good morning, Chuck. Hey, good morning, Christy. Uh, tomorrow, the process will start to see the grand jury looking into the now infamous phone call between former President Donald Trump and Georgia Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger surrounding the allegations that Trump tried to interfere with Georgia's 2020 election. When you look at all of the other investigations into Trump and 2020, where is this on the national yeah. radar and how could it affect the former president? Well, on the, as on the national radar, it's not as high as I've always thought it should be. I think this is the most, I think of all the things he's dealing with, whether it's a January 6th investigation, whether it's New York's investigation of his finances and, and of the Trump organization, I think this is the most legally consequential investigation we have because of that phone call. It is direct evidence. He tried to interfere. He tried to get uh, election officials to commit a crime. Bottom line, pure and simple, you hear it in the call. Uh, it, I will be surprised if this grand jury doesn't find a way to 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 to, um, to potentially indict the president, or we'll see what how short it comes, what what they end up, what the uh, Fulton County uh, lawyer asked for here. But I think the president's legal jeopardy is quite high on this one. I, I mean, it is. There's not a there's no vagaries. There's no text messages that you have to connect. It's his voice. It's his phone call. It's crystal clear what he's doing. So uh, I think he, I think this is the biggest legal jeopardy he faces, pure and simple. You have a Secretary of Homeland Security on your show this morning. Um, how big of an issue will the southern mm -hmm. border be in November? I mean, even here in Georgia, which is not on the southern border, it's the fourth most important issue right. to voters, according to our, to uh, our poll. Right. Right. And if you look at the, if you actually look at it though by party, you'll see that it's a, it's a dramatic sort of. Uh, it's mostly just Republicans that care about this issue. Uh, Democrats don't have it as a priority, and independents put it somewhere in the middle. But I do think if you're the Democrats, you got to be careful because independents look a lot more like Republicans on the issue of immigration than they do Democrats, at least just on this issue. Um, the, 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 I think the fear that Biden administration has and Democrats have is if it looks like it's chaotic. You know, the, the, I think some of the rhetoric on the right is, is sort of over the top and, and I think very hard to sort of rationalize. But what the middle doesn't like about our immigration policies when it looks like we're not quite sure what we're doing. Why do some people allowed to stay, some people get sent back? It looks arbitrary and if it all of a sudden looks like we're overwhelmed, then it becomes, I think, a gigantic political problem and it looks more, becomes more of a competency issue rather than a, a disagreement over policy. So look, I do think Republicans want to run on the issue. They don't want to solve the problem. And I think Democrats are afraid to deal with the issue right now because of, A, how polarizing it is, and B, right now, other issues are on top of mind of most voters, right, which is inflation, inflation, inflation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, Chuck, thanks. Meet the Press airs at 10 right after 11 Alive weekend morning news.